All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are done with lunch in here and ready to introduce our speaker. Let me get our screen share up and running real quick. All right, Sarah, thank you for being with us today. Yes, thank you. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here or online. My name is Sarah Horgan and I'm with Commute with Enterprise. Um, so we are a division of Enterprise Red Park. Um, but this division specifically focuses on helping employees commute to and from work. Um, we <clears throat> operate a van pool service. So we are partnered with Stanislaus Council of Governments here in Stanislaus County on their um, Stanis Cruise platform. We are the van pool service provider. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that today, but primarily we're going to go over the sustainability aspect of van pooling. Um, how it's great for the planet. We'll touch on the well, uh, the benefits to employees and their well-being, as well as some benefits to employers who implement successful van pool programs for their employees. Uh, we'll go over how van pooling works, who it works best for, um, and then the Stanis Cruise program currently in operating in Stanis. Let me tap on this part. Now try. There we go. Okay, great. Um, so some of the benefits to van pooling. It's good for you. It's good for your mind. It's where that well-being piece comes in. It's great for the planet, and it's a cost savings um, for anyone who participates, as well as it can be for business as well. So the average commute nationwide is about 55 minutes um, hmm. round trip. So that's about an hour of your day spent behind the wheel driving back and forth to work. Um, and so what our program aims to do is give people some time back into their day. Um, it is similar to bus and rail, except for it's smaller, it's on a smaller scale. So instead of buses that hold 35, 50 people, a van pool is 7 to 15 passengers. Um, and the drivers or the participants take turns driving themselves. So it's a volunteer basis. Typically, it's coworkers that live nearby each other, um, commuting into work together each day and then doing the reverse to come back home. They're utilizing an enterprise vehicle, and we provide the insurance, the maintenance, roadside assistance. They split the costs. So the cost savings comes from not having to put all the mileage and depreciation on their own vehicle, um, and also splitting fuel between a group of coworkers instead of just themselves driving into their own single occupancy vehicle. So in addition to, uh, or on the spectrum of the well, of improving employees' well-being, um, you get some usable time back into your day when you're not stuck behind the wheel, having to focus on traffic, um, so you can take some time to catch up on work, take a nap, read a book, listen to music. <clears throat> but what we want to focus on today is how gambling is great for the planet. So it's removing single occupancy vehicles off the road, therefore reducing CO2 emissions, scope 3 emissions. Um, that's a big topic in California, reducing scope 3 emissions. Uh, we have the big push in the state for EVs. This is a way to also eliminate CO2 reduction without having to uh, buy an expensive EV car um, as the market is still providing them. And especially if you have commutes that are too long where an EV doesn't necessarily make sense uh, or you don't have access to your charging station. So in San Luis County right now, we have 120 van pools operating. Um, that means there's over 600 participants um, using a van pool to get to work every single day. And that's removing 480 single occupancy vehicles off the road. And annually, that is 6 million tons of CO2. So it is a pretty big impact. Um, it's going to help with congestion as well. Um, so the more people we get out of their own single occupancy vehicles and using public transit, including van pool, the better it is for everybody, even the drivers on the road driving their own cars. Uh, there's going to be less congestion. The air quality is going to improve. Um, and that's really where the Stannis Cruise Partnership comes in, which I'll get into a little bit more. <clears throat> but those are the main aspects of 
the sustainability side of van pooling nationwide in 2022. Um, all of the van poolers with commute with enterprise reduced 812 million pounds of CO2. So definitely very, uh, very impactful program. Um, and then obviously the cost savings, which again, I will get into a little bit further, but it's going to save on average, a person who van pools instead of drives themselves will save about $6,000 annually on their commute costs. And again, that's going to come from reducing the depreciation on your car, lowering the maintenance for commute related purposes, uh, your insurance premiums can be reduced and then fuel, fuel as well. <clears throat> So a little bit on the Stannis Cruise partnership. Uh, Stannis Lost Council of Government implemented Stannis Cruise uh, about January of 2023, so over a year ago. And the whole purpose is to get people out of their single occupancy vehicles. Uh, they have a handful of different programs that they offer and help uh, residents in the county to find, and that's is anywhere from finding a, a walk a way a route to walk to where you need to get to go, bike, um, bus routes, and then also Vample. So <clears throat> Vample, the primary uh, objective of it is to get to and from work specifically. Uh, and so it's that's what it's catered to is for employees that have those longer commutes. And Stan's Cruz partnered with Commute with Enterprise. We are the provider, and what they do is provide a subsidy for each van pool that operates in the county to help lower the cost to the end user. So that's $550 per month that Stannis Cruise will pay towards the cost for each group. Um, and that's ongoing. So as long as the van pool is operating, they provide that funding to help lower the costs for the employees. Do they have to have a minimum number of participants per van pool for that? So the minimum number is five, okay. five per van pool. And this is from their website. Um, just have a couple key points of what van pools are, how or who they best work for. So typically, we say if you live more than 20 miles away from work, or if, you know you have a 20, 25, 30 minute commute minimum, uh, this is where the the cost savings benefit uh, comes into play. If you have a, a short commute, you may not see the cost savings. Uh, but once you get past around that 20 mile mark, that's when the cost savings really is beneficial. <clears throat> so you have the 550 subsidy on there. Um, and then one great thing too is yes, you can use HOV lanes, which can cut commute times when there is traffic. Um, just going into those lanes on the side. Um, and it's one of the least expensive commute option especially if you don't have access to bus or light rail, uh, or you can't obviously live too far to walk or bike to work. This is gonna be one way that you can utilize public transit, or if you have odd schedules, if you work um, night shifts and you don't have a bus that operates at the time that you need to be at work, Vambles can be a great option for that as well. So here is uh, a map of where, where we are here in Modesto and highlighting some of the areas where van pools make sense if you have a group of employees um, coming from that area. So a little closer areas, Manteca, Patterson, 17 miles away, and then you get further out to Livingston, Atwater, Merced, or to the north, Dr. Lodi. Um, obviously we have van pool, well, not obvious to you, but we have a lot of van pools that leave Modesto. So they are uh, serving the residents of Modesto, um, but there a lot of them are commuting either to San Joaquin County, the Tracy Latham area, or to the Bay Area. Um, it's a lot, you know, there's a lot of jobs out there, and a lot of people like to live in Modesto for the standard of living that it can accommodate. Uh, but we also want, I want, to make people aware that van pools can be used to come to Modesto. And if you are a business owner here and you're trying to recruit people, this is a great way to help um, recruit people from further away, um, to, but while also keeping their costs low. Um, if you do operate a van pool program as, as an employer, 
It's going to help with your retention uh, because if they have a reliable way to get to work each day, that doesn't cost them very much. Even though they are further away, it's just going to incentivize them to stay longer and, and not look for a job closer to home when gas prices rise, as they just have recently. Yeah, they have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how does Manpool work? You might have have somewhat of an idea after I've been uh, talking about the program. Um, but essentially, it's co-workers living nearby each other, renting an enterprise vehicle month to month. Um, it is a month to month basis, so it's not long term contracts. And then the employees take turns driving. They'll find a central meeting spot um, to meet together each morning. It also could be a couple different spots. So if uh, you have a van pool starting in Merced and then you make a stop at Atwater on the way in, you can do that as well uh, and have a couple of different pickup points. Uh, but the drivers will alternate. There's always one coordinator or captain of the van pool who is the liaison between the group and enterprise. Um, so we work with the coordinator just to make sure maintenance gets done timely. Uh, we let them know when that mileage is approaching for them to get that done. And we will let them know which vendors they can use that's convenient for them that we're partnered with. And uh, they'll directly bill enterprise for any maintenance related for the vehicle. Um, but if you're not driving, obviously you can just enjoy the ride and sit back. Um, some groups have one driver that loves to drive and will drive every day. Others have um, people take turns. Um, so it's whatever the group decides, very customizable turnkey program uh, because the group decides the schedule, they decide the route based on what their needs are. And the coordinator, the primary person is where the car stays every day? It can stay with the coordinator if they would like to keep it at their house or it can stay at that central meeting spot. So. Whether that's a park and ride, whether that's a shopping center parking lot uh, where everybody keeps their cars during the day and they leave the van there at night. Um, again, whatever the group, whatever makes the most sense for the group. I have a question. Have you yeah. pictures because they show um, a smaller group? And yeah, I saw the van for a 1 to 14. Is that correct? So, is there so yes, yeah, so we have different vehicle options actually right here. <laughs> um, so, seven passenger is the smallest to be considered a van pool. Um, that's because there's federal funding involved typically to help pay for van pools. Uh, we abide by those regulations. So seven uh, passenger vehicle, but you just have to have 50% capacity. So um, an average of four or more riding every single day um, in a seven passenger van. And then we also have the eight seaters, 10 and 12 and 15. Uh, so when you get to those larger vans, just same thing, you just have to have 50 percent capacity uh, to qualify for that thing. But you need an extension on your license to take 12 people and over or something Anything like that? Anything over 10 passengers. Uh, so yeah, the 12 and 15, you have to have a different class uh, with additional qualification. <clears throat> um, so again, just to recap some of the reasons why um, employees really like van pooling. Um, to give an example, when a van gets started and is on the road for the first three months, it stays on the road for an average of six years. So this is a long-term solution for, for many people and that's where you can really affect retention um, to, to keep people employed because they have that reliable transportation every day and that's affordable. <clears throat> um, so it's convenient. It has that schedule flexibility where they're not reliant on a bus route to determine the schedule. Um, we provide all of the support. So as the sales representative for the Central Valley area, uh, I work with groups to get started. And then we have our operations team on the back end once the vans are operating to be there whenever if there's an accident, if there's vandalism, uh, whenever maintenance needs to get done. We coordinate all of that. Uh, we do provide loaner vehicles uh, when accidents do happen. And there's no charges, no deductibles. Um, when there is damage, it's all covered with the monthly rental cost. So no surprise costs come up uh, during the time that you have the van. Uh, we also have 24 hour roadside assistant. And then uh, one great. Thanks, Kirk. See you soon. One great uh, program with Santa's Cruz is the. Oh, I'm sorry, I got your attention again. There you go. 
it's an emergency ride home. So <clears throat> aspect of the partnership with Stanis Cruz is that, uh, and then not just for van pool, for any um, any alternative transportation, train, carpool, um, biking, walking, if there's inclement weather, uh, you can get an emergency ride home, which is essentially taking an Uber or Lyft to, and it could be to work, it could be to home, whatever the case may be. Say if you missed your bus or your van pool driver is sick and, the, and there's no backup driver available, uh, you can pay for an Uber up to $100, get that reimbursed up to three times a year. Uh, so there is a backup in case of emergency. I will say it does not happen very often um, on the van pool side of things. Usually there's always a backup driver that can help. And if there was an accident to happen, if they don't happen very often because this is a common, you know, it's a, it's a commute. So it's grows out to travel every day. These people are, the drivers are used to it. Uh, and so, but when it does happen, our roadside will come out, get you taken care of as soon as possible. Um, so just touching on some of the company benefits and going back to the sustainability aspect of van pooling, one thing that is not commonly thought of is um, you can use this to, in your um, sustainability reporting, in your CO2, CO3 reduction. Um, so as a partner with Enterprise, with if you have a van pool program that you're offering employees, we will provide quarterly reporting, which will give you um, the metrics of the program. So the number of CO2 emissions reduced, the number of single occupancy vehicles off the road, uh, the vehicle miles traveled reduction. So you're able to take that reporting and um, use that in whatever way you choose to. Um, it's a great ESG initiative, um, DEI initiative as well. Um, really improves company culture, just with showing your support for those employees that do travel longer distances, who have a little bit more uh, risk of burning out and just uh, less time in their day because they have to spend it behind the wheel getting to work. So. Lastly, if you have anybody that you know of um, interested in learning a little bit more or finding a route that they could join, um, going to our website is going to be uh, a very quick and easy way to submit your interest. There's a link that says join commute for an individual. You can have, if you have a group of friends that want to start their own van pool, you can do that as well. Or if you're an employer and a company looking to provide this program for employees, you can do that through the website as well. Um, alternatively, you can reach out to me directly. I've got my contact info here. Um, like I said, I'm the rep for the Central Valley area. So um, work and answer questions. Thank you. And is there any other questions? Do you ever have a coordinator that becomes a coordinator to just create their own mix, like random people wanting to use them as a service by day? Um, <laughs> as a service, like like they promote. I'm here. I'm I'm a enterprise van pool coordinator. Let me know if you need carpooling. Um, typically. Typically not because you have to have, because you are splitting the cost among the participants and so we would I mean we wouldn't nor normally see somebody that wants to just spread the cost themselves and then try to find people. Uh, it's more of a group initiative to uh, to get started and then they split the costs. So it, yeah, it'd be tough to do it that way, uh, just because it's, the way it's designed. Yeah. Do you guys track mileage um, like virtually somehow on the vehicles or you're, do they have to come to so, you and get a check? It's, um, it's tracked once a month via reporting. So on the our, each van pool participant and coordinator has a commute with enterprise app. And once a month, um, they submit what their trips were. So the starting out or sending, I mean, it's going to be the same every day typically. Uh, unless, you know, people are on vacation and it doesn't operate for whatever reason. Um, but that's how we get the data. That data is also shared with Stannis crews and then in turn turn into the uh, the feds to receive additional funding. So that's where the funding for the subsidy comes from. Um, and, is to get that reporting. 
there's no issue if they all meet, say, at the park and ride, and on your way home, you're the coordinator, you stop at the store before you get home. There's no real issue in that, I'm assuming. Not really. No, but it's just, just as long as they're, um, you know, if there's an extra mile that they travel, that they're re recording it on the, on the recording, that's fine. Um, the price is determined by how many mile, monthly miles. Oh, got it. Um, and so that kind of helps mitigate, you know, so that's not for commute. However, the coordinator does receive 200 free miles to use um, personally. So they can run errands, they can um, take a weekend trip or something, um, and there's no charge for that. I have seen them, your logos popping up more and more around town. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot in uh, coming from Modesto, like I said, going up to like, Tracy, Stockton, Lathrop, or to the Bay Area. That's that's where primarily uh, the van pools operating here are going. Um, so now we just need to bring the van pools here. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I'm impressed with how uh, comprehensive everything you have built in here covers everything I thought of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it really is a turnkey program. Um, we've actually been doing, Enterprise has been doing van pool services for 30 years. So oh, wow. yeah, people just don't know about it. Uh, it started in Southern California, makes sense because you have LA traffic, uh, but we're nationwide in 48 states now. Um, and, and we continue to grow. The pandemic, you know, stirred things up a little bit with people going back um, to work from home, um, but then we kind of pivoted to essential workers that still needed to be on site every day versus the office workers. Uh, so, we're still, yeah, we're almost up to pre-pandemic levels oh, cool. uh, at this point. In the state or as a company? Uh, nationwide. Nationwide. I think in the state, we probably have exceeded what we were. Uh, so there's a lot of land in California, like we were talking about. And a lot of focus on sustainability and yeah. all of that, too. And yeah. we probably are a state with more commuters than the average state. Yes. <clears throat> so. Awesome. All right, nothing additional question-wise? All right, I think we'll wrap up and then we'll just chit chat here and fill in the blanks. So thank you for your time and yes, joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem.